Hello everyone and welcome again to our Gainful series. Today we will be covering the news of the week 17th to 23rd of December. Okay, so uh, again I request you to use those these portals wisely and not waste any time further. Let's get started with the session right away. Let me move out. Okay, India has decided to extend the aid of how many billion dollars to Maldives, who is appointed as the new CM of Chhattisgarh. Catriona Gray, the winner of Miss Universe 2018, is the citizen of which country? Dr. Geeta S. Iyengar was a famous what? Who has been elected as the president of FIKI for 2018-19. Let's look at the answers. Okay, so we know there has been change of government in Maldives now, yeah? And, and now they are on friendly terms with us, uh, unlike the predecessors, his predecessor. So now the government of India has extended 1.4 billion dollar financial assistance to Maldives. Okay, Maldives capital is Male, currency is Maldivian Rufia. Okay, Bhupesh Bhagel is appointed as the new CM of Chhattisgarh. He is the third CM of the state. Yeah, so this is you know 68 out of the 90 seats they were won by INC. Kamal Nath, new CM of MP. Th these are all the new. Uh, uh, no, states uh, where the elections were and then we had our new chief ministers there. So in MP also 114 out of 230 was Kamal Nath. Uh, Ashok Gehlot again 99 seats out of 199 he has won and he has become the new CM of Rajasthan. Sachin Pilot is the deputy CM of Rajasthan. Okay. Governor Chhattisgarh Anandi Ben Patel, additional charge of Madhya Pradesh and government of Rajasthan is Kalyan Singh. So you just know these because they have changed recently, it might be asked. The Philippines, Catriona Gray was named Miss Universe 2018 in a competition that concluded on December 17 in Bangkok, Thailand. Philippines capital Manila, currency Philippine Peso and President, we all know the controversial Rodrigo Duterte. Okay, Geeta S. Iyengar, the eldest daughter of legendary yoga guru BKS Iyengar, you know, one of the earliest one who promoted yoga, okay, and a noted exponent of yoga science in her own right passed away at the age of 74. Sandeep Somani, vice chairman and managing director of Hindustan Sanitary Wear and Industries Limited is now the FIKI president, okay, FIKI headquarter, New Delhi. Let's look at these. Which city is organizing 37th Senior National Rowing Championship? Who is the winner of Men's Hockey World Cup 2018? We know this was held in India. Which country has declared 2019 as the year of tolerance? And Pandit Arun Bahadri was a famous what? Who has won the title of Miss India Worldwide 2018? Let's look at this. Okay, so it, this 37th Senior National Rowing Championship is happening in Pune. Right, Belgium defeated Netherlands in the Men's Hockey World Cup 14th edition final and Australia remained third position after beating England in the semi-final. Blake goes Australia became the top scorer when he was Kalinga Stadium, Bhubaneswar, Odisha. An official mascot because it happened in India, you could be asked Oli the turtle. Okay, UAE President uh, Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan has declared 2019 as the year of tolerance. So which country? That's UAE. Renowned classical singer Pandit Arun Bahadri passed away in Kolkata. So he was a classical singer, right? He was considered to be the master of Bengali song and bhajans. Punjabi born Indian American Sri Saini has been crowned Miss India Worldwide 2018 at a pageant held in Fourth City of New Jersey. Let's try the next five. Which country has built an artificial island for wildlife? Very interesting. Which company has been awarded the contract for building 70 supercomputers under National Supercomputing Mission? Which military aircraft has become India's first military aircraft to fly using blended biojet fuel? And where is Soputan Volcano located? Finally, Joshipa, Joshna Chinappa uh, is associated with which sports? Okay, let's look at the answers. So this. Uh, Marker Warden, an artificial island is located in Marker Mir Lake in the Netherlands. Okay, the Marker Mir is one of the Europe's largest freshwater lakes. The archipelago of five islets were created under ambitious project and has already attracted grey like goose, common tern, and several species of uh, of wader. So, if you look at this, this is one of the largest rewilding operations in Europe. So, artificial island created, the environment given there, and then you see the uh, uh, the expected say uh, fauna uh, 
and there you know it's, it's, it's attracting that so it's again getting populated with wildlife that that's an interesting exercise some hope for future then you know if we will try to uh, do it artificially also it's possible after a deal of more than three years india ordered french technology firm atos 4500 crore contract to build 70 could be 73 supercomputer under national supercomputing mission so the name of the company here is atos on december 17 2018 experimental test pilots and test engineer from iaf okay premier testing establishment ast flew india's first military flight using blended biojet on an32 transport aircraft so an32 transport aircraft the uh, project is a combined effort of iaf drdo director general so all all, all these bodies have been uh, you know uh, included is it something new yeah and they are they are trying uh, for it so yeah lot, lot lot of agencies have come together and done it mount soputan on the northern part of Sulawesi Island that's in Indonesia erupted twice on December 17 morning. Indonesia capital is Jakarta, currency Indonesian rupiah and President Joko Widodo. Joshna Chinnappa and Mahesh Mangaonkar clinched the women and men single title respectively the national squash championship. So she is a squash player. Okay, let's try these. International Migration Day is observed on what of December? UN Arabic Language Day is observed when Tulsi Giri, who passed at the age of 93, was a former Prime Minister of which uh, country? What is the title of the book launched by PM Modi on renowned cartoonist late RK Lakshman? Yeah, you remember the common man. What is the name of the school that Union Government will set up in scheduled tribe areas? This was part of the budget. Okay, let's look at it. On 4 December 2000, the General Assembly, taking into account the large and increasing number of migrants in the world, proclaimed 18 December as the International Migrant Day. Migration is a powerful driver of economic growth. People coming from different countries, they want to prove themselves, they, they work very hard. You know, economic growth, dynamism and understanding. It allows millions of people to seek new opportunity, benefit communities of origin and destination alike. That's that's what UN's take on it. Uh, you ask what the, you know, the uh, people in America feel, at least their president and then for that matter, the Hungarian guy, what, what he will, they, they are absolutely against. Yeah, you remember 181 uh, supported that migration, whereas the two which did not, you know, were uh, the US and the Hungary, right? So, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres uh, theme migration with dignity. Okay, UN Arabic Language Day is observed annually on December 18. Again, December 18 uh, is it's for both International Migration Day as well as UN Arabic Day. Former Prime Minister of Nepal, Tulsi Giri passed away. He was 93. He twice served as the Prime Minister of Nepal. First from 92 to 64 and then again from 75 to 77. Yeah, couple of years, 2 to 4. Okay, PM Modi has launched Coffee table book titled Timeless Lakshman on the life and times of renowned cartoonist late R.K. Lakshman who was renowned for his iconic caricature, The Common Man. Yeah. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved for setting up of a Klavya Models residential school in every block with more than 50% ST population and at least 20,000 tribal population. Minister for Home, uh, Human Resource Development is Prakash Javedkar. Okay. Let's uh, move forward. What is the name of the book written by former PM uh, Manmohan Singh recently? Union government has approved setting up of two new aims in which state on recent cabinet decision. CM of Odisha, Nabin Patnaik has announced financial aid of rupees 10 crore for establishment of Odia Culture Center. In which city will it be constructed? Which country has framed regulation for complete phase out of single use plastic shopping bags from July next year? who has been named PETA India's 2018 person of the year. Let's look at the answers quickly. Manmohan Singh launched his book, Changing India. During the launch, he took a dig at uh, PM Modi and he said, you know, he used to address media frequently, which uh, Modi ji does not. Union cabinet has approved setting up of uh, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, one at Madurai in Tamil Nadu at the cost of 1,264 crore and other at BB Nagar in Telangana at 10,028, uh, sorry, uh, 1,028 crore. So one in Madurai, okay, and then other in BB Nagar. So Tamil Nadu and Telangana are getting it. He announced uh, this while speaking Odisha Mahotsa organized by Odia uh, Pravasi Samay residing in Surat. So this is, uh, he said Odisha will request center to start a direct flight. So this this was, you know, the Odia uh, Mahotsa that was happening actually in Gujarat. Okay. So if you, if you read in between the lines, if you will see, I think uh, 
uh, yeah, Biju Patnaik has also said he will not be part of Mahagadwandan. So, you know, a lot of uh, some something was cooking there maybe already. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all reading too much, but yeah, you can already see things happening. New Zealand has recently become a signatory to the New Plastic Economy Global Commitment, a global pledge to address the root cause of plastic pollution. The regulation for mandatory phase out of single use plastic shopping bag will take effect. I think even we should contribute not use this single use plastic that's very bad for the ecosystem. Actress Sonam Kapoor, a vegan, has been named people for the ethical treatment of animal PETA. India's person of the year for 2018, she has been feted as she sings the praise of eating vegan diets and because she keeps animal skin out of her handbag line for her fashion brand Reson. Okay, PETA Global Headquarters is Virginia, US. Okay. okay, who is recently appointed as the additional Solicitor General of India? Union Minister of State Manoj Sinha has released commemorative postage stamp on which freedom fighter? What is India's rank in World Economic Forum Gender Gap Index 2018? Which word is chosen as the word of the year 2018 by Merriam Webster? And what is the name of the newly formed political party entirely dedicated to women? All very important questions, I would say. Okay, so the appointment committee of the cabinet has approved the name of Madhavi Koradia Divan as the additional Solicitor General of India in the Supreme Court of India. Is the third ranking law officer of government of India. The first one we all know is the Attorney General. They, they are you know the representative of the government. If you sue government, they are the one who take care of it. Of course, with the help of Solicitor General and additional Solicitor General. As the name suggests, they solicit advice from them. Unlike uh, the another interesting fact here is the Attorney General for India. Yeah and solicitor and uh, the additional solicitor advise the government and appear on behalf of the union. I think this I have already told you. However, unlike the post of Attorney General for India, which is constitutional, the other two here, the solicitor and additional solicitor, they are merely statutory. Okay. Now, uh, we talk about uh, Manoj Sinha. He has released that stamp. That's for Rajkumar Shukla. Why? Because the farmers in, in the Bihar uh, at, at a you know, place called Champaran, they, they, they were the indigo plant, uh, planters, you know that uh, Neil, right? So, uh, they, they were really oppressed by the system. They had to give lot of, uh, uh, say, revenue as tax and, and then their field would also become barren. So, they were really suffering and Rajkumar Shukla was the one who called attention of Gandhiji and because of whom, you know, the Champaran Satyagraha in 1917 was started by him. Okay, and just to you know commemorate that, uh, the stamp was released. Okay, and he also did some other curtain raiser event like powering India through innovation and technology that I am talking about Manoj Sinha, of course, and organized, uh, yeah, it was organized by the Ministry of Railway and Institution of Engineers. Okay, so this Rajkumar Shukla is, is very important when it comes to Champaran Satyagraha, two people whose name you should know is Mahatma Gandhi and Rajkumar Shukla. Okay. India has been ranked 108th in the World Economic Forum Gender Gap Index, same as 2017, while recording improvement in wage equality for a similar work and fully closing its tertiary education gender gap for the first time. Iceland has topped the tally, I think 10 years in a row, I guess. World Economic Forum, HBS Colony, Switzerland, uh, founder and executive chairman, Professor Klaus Schwab. Okay. Justice is the word chosen by Merriam Webster. Toxic by Oxford, misinformation by dictionary.com it should be, I think, yeah. Uh, single use is Collins Dictionary, yeah. And nomof uh, nomophobia, I think this we have already covered, is Cambridge, okay. So, just, just try to keep this in mind. Due to delay of 22 years in implementing the 33% reservation for women, a group of social activists from Telangana formed a political party exclusively for women's rights named National Women's Party, a party of mothers. It will contest 272 Lok Sabha seats, half of the total seats in upcoming Lok Sabha election. And WP president is Sweta Shetty. Okay, let's move to the next. 57th Goa Liberation Day was celebrated on which day? What is the name of the Niti Ayush comprehensive national strategy document for New India? What is the name of the satellite launch on December 19 by ISRO for enhancing communication in Indian Air Force? National Minority Right Day is observed when who is appointed as the new ambassador of India to Mongolia. Let's look at this. Goa Liberation Day was 19 December 1961. India completed Operation Vijay that's related to the liberation of Goa, ending Portugal's 450 year rule over the state. The policy document name is Strategy for New India at 75. Okay. 
was released today at press conference by Union Finance Minister Shri Arun Jaitley in the presence of Niti Aayog Vice Chairman Dr. Rajiv Kumar. So, what is the idea? Is to accelerate the economy to achieve GDP growth, you know, steady GDP growth of around 8% on average during 2018 to 13. This will raise the economic size in real terms from 2.7 trillion dollar in 17 18 to nearly 4 trillion by 22 23 okay istro's geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle gslb f11 lifted off from here on december 19 carrying india's geostationary communication satellite gsat 7a this is the name yeah for the communication of the air force right substantially enhance the communication system for indian air force launch site that we are talking about here it was shri Arikota. mission life will be almost eight eight years Okay, 39th communication satellite by ISRO headquarter Bangalore chairman K. Sivan. Minority Rights Day in India 2018 is celebrated all over India on December 18. India celebrates Minority Rights Day on 18th of December every year as introduced by United Nations. The day is celebrated for promoting actual and legal rights of minority communities. It has been observed in our country that employment opportunity, education, upliftment and financial inclusion, inclusion are the major areas where minorities are left behind. Minority Minister Mukhtar Abbas Nakwi. Mohinder Pratap Singh is appointed as Ambassador of India to Mongolia, capital Ulaanbaatar and currency is Mongolian Togrog. Okay, with which bank would the non-banking financial company NBFC Capital first get merged? NASCOM has collaborated with Rich Institute for its future skill platform. Where has India's largest cancer hospital been inaugurated? And which Pakistani activist has been posthumously honored with human, UN Human Right Award? Who is appointed as the chairman of the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs? Let's look at the answers now. All, all very interesting questions, I'll say. Private Sector Bank, IDFC Bank and non-banking financial company Capital First announced their completion of their merger on December 18, creating combined loan asset book of 1.03 lakh crore for the merge entity IDFC First Bank. Okay, so IDFC from here, first from here. IDFC full form was Infrastructure Development and Finance Company. Okay, uh, NASCOM has collaborated with Indian Institute of Technology, Madras for its future skill platform. The National Cancer Institute at Haryana's Jhajjar area has become India's the largest cancer after its launch in uh, uh, on December 18. There is 710 bed. It was the foundation stone was laid in 2014 by Manmohan Singh. By 2020, it will become fully functional. Pakistan renowned social activist Asma Jahangir was posthumously honored by the United Nation with prestigious Human Rights Award. Jahangir, an outspoken critic of Pakistan, powerful military establishment fought against the religious extremism and for the rights of oppressed minorities in Pakistan. United Nations Human Rights Prize is an award given every five years since 1968. And then you have UNHRC headquarters at Geneva, Switzerland. The appointment committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of Pranab Kumar Das, okay, as the chairman of CBIC, that Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. Okay, let's move to the next. What is Silao Khaja? Uh, which state has launched the Siksha Setu app, which with which company did the Ministry of Rural Development sign an MOU for training rural youth? With which country has the Ministry of Human Resource Development approved signing an MOU in the field of education? Who is appointed as the Chief Vigilance Officer of Securities and Exchange Board of India? Let's quickly look at the answers. Silao Khaja, that's a traditional suite of Nalanda, yeah, Bihar, capital Patna, Governor Lalji Tandon, CM Nitish Kumar. So th th that's just a suite. The Haryana government has launched mobile application to provide students with information on attendance, fee, online admission, scholarship of all government colleges in the state. Haryana capital is Chandigarh, Satyadev Arya is the governor and CM we all know is Manohar Lal Khattar. Deen Dal Upadhyay, Deen Dayal Upadhyay Grameen Kaushal Yojana DDUGKY is the flagship placement link skill training program under Ministry of Rural Development. Under this scheme, MOR signed MOU with Maruti Suzuki India Limited for training rural youth for skill development in presence of Honorable Minister Sri Narendra Singh Tomar. The Union Cabinet has approved signing MOU between India and Afghanistan on cooperation in HRD which will facilitate student and faculty of educational institution in the neighboring country to register and use Swayam. Swayam is what? MOOC mock. That's massive open online courses platform. So not hundreds, thousands and lacks of students can access that and then you know increase their 
uh, skills by going through these subjects okay uh, minister of hrd prakash javedkar sebi which has been in existence for over 3 decade will now have its first full time central vigilance office officer prime minister officer recently cleared the name of aarti chhabda srivastav as sebi cvo that is your chief vigilance officer okay it was uh, duly approved by central vigilance commission as well sebi headquarter mumbai chairman ajay tyagi central vigilance commissioner c k v choudhary raw chief anil ghasmana so all, all of them would be involved you know giving such an important position to someone she is cleared at all the levels yeah let's try these who is appointed as the new indian ambassador to us the union minister of state jitendra singh has launched what program developed by department of personnel and training the haryana cm manohar khatter has inaugurated the world herbal forest project a collaboration of what and haryana government in morni hill near capital city chandigarh who is appointed as the coach of the indian women cricket team and which state top the tally in state startup ranking 2018 let's look at the answers harsh vardhan shringla has been appointed ambassador of india to united states of america important post currently he was to bangladesh bangladesh to us a good transfer uh, the union minister of state independent charge development of northeast region uh, that's our dr jitain singh of course we all know ms pmo uh, minister of state and then your uh, personal public grievances pension atomic energy space everything that you know modi ji is handling the deputy is direct jitain singh right so launched the i got integrated government online training program developed by department of personal and training ministry of personal public grievances and pension it will augment the existing training mechanism with online module based training coupled with certification okay so it what is the aim here is competent civil services for good governance so now these guys will also have a lot of online training world herbal forest project development has come to light after an mou was signed between the haryana government and patanjali anushandhan sansthan divya yog mandir trust haridwar haryana governor satyadev arya patanjali ceo r acharya balakrishnan w viraman the former indian opening batsman who is at present a key member of bcci player development program has been announced as the indian's women cricket team head coach i think he was not even in contention and he became finally the head coach the department of industrial policy and promotion dipp announced the result of its first ever state startup ranking 2018 at an event in new delhi dipp began this exercise in january 2016 best performer here was gujarat okay let's try these union minister of state for civil aviation jain sinha has launched an official mobile app prior to which of the event okay uh, which event we are talking about during the india and south korea bilateral trade both sides agreed to raise the trade to how many billions by 2030 and in which state the 15th global sme small and medium enterprise business summit was held what is the position of india's international aviation safety assessment rating by the federal aviation administration afaa us which country has decided to pull its troop out of syria let's quickly look at the answers here the global aviation summit 2019 is scheduled to be held on january 15 and 16 the future of aviation drone and sea plane airport privatization digital travel and holistic development of the global aviation ecosystem will be the focus area civil aviation minister suresh prabhu so the event was the global aviation summit gas okay gas okay i hope that does not become gas something really happens in in a joint media conference foreign affairs minister of korea mr kang kyung waha and mrs swaraj you know she and mrs kang exchange views on regional and global issues of common interest finally they have reached to 15 billion dollar by the year 2030 that's the uh, bil uh, bilateral trade that that's what they want to raise it to union minister of commerce and industry civil minister suresh prabhu uh, has said that the ministry in examining the proposal to set up trade promotion bodies in 15 countries to promote export of smes of you know from india so he was speaking at the inaugural session of the 15 global sme business summit in new delhi okay ffa conduct safety assessment to assess each country that has carriers operating to the us india is in category 1 thankfully uh, it means that the carriers from the assessed state may initiate or continue services to us in a normal manner and take part in reciprocal code sharing arrangement with american carriers okay 
the United States has started to withdraw its troops from Syria, very much protested by all the senior member in the Pentagon, uh, but uh, Donald Trump does not uh, care about it. Okay. The International Human Solidarity Day is observed on what of December? Karnataka Bank has partnered with whom to provide home loans? After how many years was the precedent rule imposed in the state of JNK? Anup Kumar is associated with which sport and how much amount is union government going to infuse into the state owned public sector bank by 31st of March in coming month in 1000 crores. Okay, let's quickly do it. So we are looking at 20th December as the International Human Solidarity Day. Why? Simple, it's, it's the fundamental solidarity is one of the fundamental and the universal values and that underlines the relationship between peoples in the 21st century and hence you know given this special status of International Human Solidarity Day. Karnataka Bank is partnered with PesaBazaar.com to offer banks home loan product to the customer on PesaBazaar platform. PesaBazaar is India's largest online marketplace for financial products. Okay. So, we are talking here now about the state of Jammu and Kashmir where Governor Satyapal Malik dissolved the state assembly. And you know, as per the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir, there was governor rule under section 92. So, what happens is first the governor rule is imposed with of course the consent, later obtains the consent of the president of India. But if the governor rule is not revoked within 6 months, then the president rule is imposed under article 356. So, that is how it is different. Okay, A president rule in other state would be direct, but there first there is governor rule which is which stays for 6 months and then if nothing happens, if it is not revoked, then you have the president's rule. Right? So, last time president rule was imposed in, uh, imposed in JNK was in 1996, 22 years back due to heightened militancy, the state was plunged into turmoil. Now, former Indian Kabaddi team captain Anup Kumar. So, Anup Kumar, we are talking about Kabaddi. Announces retirement with immediate effect from the sports after Pro Kabaddi League. Arjuna Award winner Anup began his international career in 2006. At the South Asian game in Sri Lanka, he was part of the national team that won gold medals at 10 and 14 Asian games, captaining the team in 2014. Nicknamed Captain Cool. Here also we had one more Captain Cool nobody heard of. Uh, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, December 20 said the government will infuse 83,000 crore in public sector banks in remaining part of the fiscal, taking the total recapitalization of the bank during the year 1.06 lakh crore. The government had budgeted 65,000 crore for the infusion into the public sector bank through recapitalization bond this fiscal of which 42,000 is still to be allocated. So now if 83 is needed, so this 42 is still to be allotted, so you needed only 41,000 crore that is what is asked. right? And if you look at these numbers also, just look at this, this 65 budgeted plus this 41 will give you 106 lakh crore, right? Some, some maths. Okay. When is the National Mathematics Day celebrated? Who is the current Foreign Minister of China? International workshop and integrated protection of civilian in US peacekeeping operation was held where? Chah Bagicha Dhan Puruskar Mela is a scheme of which state? And which state government approved 10,000 crore Kalia scheme for cultivators? Interesting questions again. Let's look at the answers. Everywhere the country celebrates National Mathematics Day on 22nd December is the birth anniversary yeah, of Srinivas Ramanujam, a genius, mathematical genius, 1729, I hope you know Ramanujan number, uh, smallest number which can be expressed as sum of 2 cubes. Okay. So, the foreign minister there is Wang Yi, counterpart for Sushma Shoraj. We are talking about now lot of trade talks etc. Now, people to people exchange, we know war is never good for the developing nations. Okay. A joint workshop between ICRT and CUNPK, Integrated Protection on Civilian, it happened in New Delhi. Assam government is the one which has approved the second installment of Chah Bagicha, T State Dhan Puruskar Mela. Assam minister is Hemant, uh, finance minister is Hemant Biswa Sarma. Okay. And he said that the beneficiary will get 2500 INR in their bank account by 15th of next month. Odisha state cabinet has approved Krushak assistance for livelihood and income augmentation, Kalia. I, I do not know. You know, they really thought over it when they made this acronym. But yeah, it, it is it's, it's a huge amount. It will help farmers. So, that way it is good. The scheme covers 92% of the cultivators, those who have taken, you know, farm loan, non loanee farmers, sharecroppers, landless agricultural laborers, everyone will be benefited. How many central agencies have been authorized by union government to monitor and decrypt any computer system? Who has released SDG India Index Baseline Report 2018? 
with which institute did the National Backward Classes Finance and Development Corporation NBC FDC sign an MOU to facilitate skill development training to its target group full form of NABCB is what and who is appointed as the new CFO of Infosys. Let's look at the answers. The government has authorized 10 central agencies to intercept, monitor and decrypt the data contained in any computer system and asserted that this was being done to prevent any unauthorized use of these powers. Okay. So, when this came, uh, this guideline came, opposition said now they want to, you know, uh, snoop into our computers, but it said, you know, they already had the power, now it should be done as per the law and that is why this uh, circular, you can say. The Niti Aayog released the baseline report of the Sustained Development Goal India Index, which comprehensively documents the progress made by India's states and union territories towards implementing the 2013 SDG targets. Okay. Top performance Himachal Pradesh and Kerala, Union Territory is Chandigarh and aspirant state UP, Union Territory is Dadar Nagar Haveli. Okay. Dadra Nagar Haveli, I should say. Uh, the Memorandum of Understanding MOU was signed between National Backward Classes, Finance and Development Corporation, and Autonomous Corporation and the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and BSC Institute. So, this Social Justice and Empowerment Minister Thawashan Gehlot. So, idea is for facilitating the skill development training to the target group of NBC FTC. National Accreditation Board for Certification Bodies that is NACBCB. Just remember this accreditation program for occupational health and safety management system certification bodies has been accorded the recognition of equivalence in the Asia Pacific region. Now, any industry carrying ISO. 45001 certificate with NABCB logo will be recognized in the Asia Pacific region. Okay. Now, the Indian Software Service Exporter Infosys Limited named Nilanjan Roy as its chief financial officer. Nilanjan Roy, who was the global financial office officer with the telecom company Bharti Airtel, will join Bangalore headquarter Infosys on March 1, 2019. Okay. Uh, Infosys headquarter Bangalore, CEO Salil Parik. Okay, who is appointed as the president of South Asian fencing body? Five time Olympic champion Missy Franklin is associated with which sports? On December 21st, India signed agreement for exchange of notes and loan with which country? In which city has India's largest online health camp MyUpchar launched its Sathi app and health card? Which state has provided Navic enabled gadgets to assist fishermen? Let us look at the answers. So, the Indian Olympic Association, he was the secretary earlier, now he has been Rajiv Mehta has been made the head of South Asian body for 4 years. Okay, UK swimmer Missy Franklin, the 2012 World Swimmer of the Year announced her retirement at the age of 23 citing intense pain from shoulder injuries that have dogged her for nearly 3 years. So, she is just giving it up. She had 100 and 200 meter backstroke event in 2012 London Olympics. So, gold medals do not come easy. Uh, India and Japan on December 21st, 2018 signed exchange of notes and loan agreement on Japan's official development assistance loan to India, right. And Japan has committed JICA official development assistance of around 6668.46 crore jointly. Now here if you will see India's largest online health camp Myopchar launches Sathi app and health card in the city of Lucknow. Okay. And it was the Tamil Nadu government that has distributed 200 Navic powered satellite enabled communication devices held by ISRO to 80 fishing boat groups. The gadget will help Tamil Nadu fishermen know about the cyclones and provide updates, weather updates on real time basis. Kisan Devas is celebrated on December what? Where has Defence Minister of India inaugurated the Information Fusion Centre, Indian Ocean Region? Anand S. Vaidyalingam, popularly known as Prapanchan, was a renowned what? Popular singer Dipali Barhakur, who passed away at 77, was a famous witch singer, which place I am talking about. Uh, the International Training Center for Operation Oceanography, the ITC Ocean, is located where? Let us look at the answers here now. So, the Kisan Devas or National Farmer Day is observed across the country on 23rd of December to celebrate the birth day of Chaudhary Charan Singh, the fifth Prime Minister of India. Leader will also visit the former PM Samadhi at Kisan Ghat in New Delhi. The government in 2001 decided to observe 23rd December every year as Kisan Divas. Now, Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman, the Honorable Raksha Mantri, launched the Information Fusion Centre Indian Ocean Region on December 22nd at Information Management and Analysis Centre IMAC Gurugram. Okay. So, the ocean 
related but in gurugram so just keep this in mind the ior is vital to the world trade and economic prosperity of many nation as more than 75% of the world maritime trade and 50% of the global oil consumption passes through it tamil writer and sahitya academy award winner s vaidyalingam so he was a writer he died in puducherry he was age was 83 okay popular assamese singer assamese singer dipali bar thakur who lost her voice due to nerve degenerating disease has inspired music master bhupen hazarika and she passed away at the age of 77 okay union minister for science and technology harsh vardhan inaugurated training center at incois in hyderabad okay so this is your you know again ocean related this is hyderabad this ocean related here ifc ior information fusion center indian ocean region this is in gurugram okay just keep that in mind which union minister has conferred upon has been conferred upon the gold the scotch golden jubilee challenger award who has been conferred with the scotch chief minister of the year award which football team ranked number 1 in fifa global ranking this is you know it keeps changing i'm talking about the december 17 23 period in which city of gujarat was this year's annual conference of dgp igp held which country has launched its first satellite for space based broadband okay let's move to the answers commerce and industry minister suresh uh, prabhu has been conferred upon the scotch golden jubilee challenger awarded 55th scotch summit new delhi today okay that's again the period 1723 we are talking about west bengal cm mamta banerjee has been conferred the scotch cm year, you know cm of the year award for a contribution in overall development of the state and emerging as the best cm in the country belgium will end the year as number 1 ahead of world champion france in the global ranking released by fifa you also know in even the hockey world cup uh, you know they were the champion this conference is being held at tenth city set up near statue of unity at kevadia in narmada district of gujarat that's the three day event uh, you know uh, attended by union home minister rajnath singh okay so pm also attended this conference gujarat capital gandhi nagar governor om prakash kohli cm vijay rupani China on December 22nd has launched its first communication satellite to provide broadband internet services worldwide in an apparent bid to rival Google and other international firm. The satellite is the first in the Hongyun project planned by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corp. Okay, doing lot of things these guys now. Okay, the Indian stock market has surpassed the stock markets of which country in market capital recently? On December 22nd, GST Council meet. at new delhi it was its which meeting how many times have these guys met dash has emerged as the best performer in developing startup ecosystem for budding entrepreneurs according to the ranking of the state done by the department of industrial policy and promotion who is the chairman of the logistic development committee and for the first time which state is going to create a dna database of its captive elephant let's look at the answers now india ranks 7th in you know with a market capitalization of 2.1 trillion germany is 8 so it is overtaken germany canada is 9 they have seen sharp 18% decline and currently ranked below india it was 31st meeting of gst council they keep meeting they keep revising yeah they trying to find the best possible combination of things best performer for you know entrepreneur uh, you know encouraging the entrepreneurs is it's uh, gujarat other top performer karnataka kerala odisha and rajasthan there are various categories the leader category andhra pradesh bihar and chatisgarh madhya pradesh and telangana top 5 aspiring leaders haryana himachal pradesh jharkhand and uttar pradesh and west bengal emerging assam delhi goa jammu kashmir maharashtra पंजाब तमिलनाडु उत्तराखंड बिगनर्स चंडीगढ़ मणिपुर मिजोरम नागालैंड पुदुचेरी सिक्किम एंड त्रिपुरा दे वर ऑल अवॉर्डेड या सो आई थिंक वन दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज द बेस्ट परफॉर्मर हियर इज गुजरात कीप दैट इन माइंड या आई आई थिंक दैट शुड डू और एट बेस्ट द लीडर कैटेगरी आंध्र प्रदेश द इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजरी काउंसिल टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ई ए सी पी एम कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड a logistic development committee under the chairmanship of Dr. Vivek Debroy, chairman ई ए सी पी एम the committee was tasked to assess key challenges in logistic development and assess associated commerce and suggest policies reform for ease of doing trade in india for the first time in the country captive elephants in kerala will you no know, have now got their own genetic ids thanks to the unique dna database initiative of the state government okay so that you know why why it is done to address the illegal trade forgery of ownership certificate and other malpractices related to captive jumbos okay
Okay, which Indian cyclist has become Asia's fastest to cycle the globe? Who is the winner of the Club World Cup 2018? In which state the President of India has inaugurated the Center of Excellence for Genetic Blood Disorders? Which bank has launched a special card for 2019 Kumbh Mela? Who has become the President of Archery Association of India? Let's look at the answers. Vedangi Kulkarni has become the fastest Asian to cycle the globe. She has spent 159 days pedaling 300 kilometers a day in 14 countries, covered 2000, 29,000 kilometers. Okay, the world champion otherwise is Jenny Graham, you know, fastest to cycle 124 days, okay, more than a month gap, right. This is Real Madrid's third consecutive Club World Cup crown and fourth overall. So, this is Real Madrid, the winner of Club World Cup. Uh, the President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovin, inaugurated the Center of Excellence for Sickle Cell Anemia, Thalassemia and Other Genetic Blood Disorder at Prathima Institute of Medical Sciences in Karimnagar, Telangana. State owned PNB has launched a special card for Kumbh Mela in 2019. VVP Rao was elected the President of Archery Association of India. That's Okay, who is awarded with South India Education Society size Sri Chandra Shekharendra Saraswati National Eminence Award. Now, which city becomes the first open defecation free plus under 3 to 10 lakh population category in the country? Burundi has named a new place as the new capital. Yeah, uh, place as a new capital. Recently, which state has passed anti mob violence bill and the film name? The Hoi Zobte De Malite, I am not sure how that's pronounced. Rainbow Field belongs to the film industry of which state? Let's look at the answers now. So, former PM Dr. Manmohan Singh will get size along with others, including Professor Manjul Bhargava, Niti Aayog member VK Saraswat, and Swami Chidanan Saraswati, even different fields, right? These awards were part of Kanchi Mahaswami festival event held in Mumbai. So, Manmohan Singh is like one. Uh, big name here. Guru Gram becomes the first open defecation plus city under 3 to 10 lakh population category. Sikkim was the first open defecation free state in the country. Burundi declared small central city of Gitega as the country's new political capital. Earlier, Bazumbra was its capital. Manipur uh, Assembly was unanimously, you know, has unanimously passed Manipur Mob Violence Control and Prohibition Bill to check mob violence. Okay. Manipur Capital Imphal, Governor Nazma Haftullah, CN, Birain, Sain. Asmi's film, Zi Hoi Zobte De Malite, Rainbow Field, which deals with the sensitive issue of children growing up in violent time, has bagged an award at US Festival for Best Narrative Feature. Okay, which missile has been tested from the integrated test range at Abul Kalam Island, Odisha? Which public sector department has won 17 awarded National Energy Conservation Award? Which new award category was announced by PM of India at DGP IGP's conference? You remember near Statue of Unity, Kevadia? Uh, Andhra Himachal and which state were the best performing state under maternity benefit program and how many IT companies have been shortlisted by RBI to set up wide based digital public credit registry. Let's look at the answers now. So what we are talking about the successful again testing of Agni 4 we already know lastly it was you know tested successfully in January 2nd 2018 yeah. Uh, so this is really working well it has the target of almost 4000. Uh, kilometers. Railway has won 17 awarded National Energy Conservation Award 2018. This is the highest number of awards backed by a single organization. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi annual Sardar Patel Award for National Integration at DGP IGP conference in Kevadia. So that's Sardar Patel Award for National Integration. Okay, that's what Sardar Patel stood for. Andhra Pradesh, Himachal and Madhya Pradesh were the top three performing state under the maternity benefit program. Pradhan Mantri Matrata Vandana Yojana PMVY is centrally sponsored scheme under which the cost sharing between the center and state uh, center states and the union territories with legislation is 60-40 for the eight northeastern states and the three Himalayan states is 90-100 percent for central assistance for union territories without the legislation. Minister of Women and Child Development is Menka Gandhi. Reserve Bank of India shortlists six major IT companies including TCS, Wipro, IBM India, Capgemini, Technology Services, Doon and Bradstreet Information Services India and Mindtree Limited to set up the wide based digital public credit registry for capturing details of all borrowers and willful defaulters. Yeah, that was much needed. Okay, so with that we close the week 17th to 23rd of December. I, I hope again you have learned something new and you know you will make good use of the Y app, revise things 
and and it will definitely help you in your exam see you again with the next gainful very soon thank you very much